Today we're going to talk about the differences between Peak and the better one, Carbon Fiber Peak. The big difference is sometimes you're not allowed to use carbon fiber. What if it's going in a body? What if it's going, you know, what if a large administration has said, we will accept this and, you know, you can't use carbon fiber. Why, 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 what's the situation where you shouldn't use a carbon fiber infused part? Ah, implants, you know, well, it, most of the time, honestly, has nothing to do with the actual capability of the material, yeah. but the certifications and the qualifications that the company has already run on the material peak. So they're like, we've been using this for 30 years. We want this, we want nothing else. We don't need any variables. This has been tested, this has been proven. Give us that. And we're like, but there's a good chance you'll get a stronger part or a better part, and definitely an easier part and more parts if we're printing this, carbon fiber peak. The biggest difference we see between the two is the ease of printing. How easy it is to print, how hard it is to print, really. Peak is notorious for terrible bridging. So this part was a very well printed part. And just by the nature of peak, you can see some of the peaks and valley, no pun intended, valleys in there where the support was attached. Whereas this had absolutely no post-processing and is a fine, oversized, threaded screw with, and bolt. Right. And it came out that way. The so accuracy. What makes it easier to print? Why is adding carbon fiber, chopped strands of aerospace grade carbon fiber, why does that make it easier to print? Cement is an ingredient in concrete. But when you add the sand and the binding binders, there's no add, not additives, but just that chopped carbon fiber, fiber tie, yeah, yeah, tie it all together, tie the layers together, tie the bridging together, thickening it up so right. it wants to behave like, better. Like right as you're extruding it down, it's got all these tiny little interlinking fibers that are going along the path, and it's those fibers keep the material in place. So when you, if you lay down a path smooth, it's gonna wanna do this as it, as it cools. It's gonna wanna curl and warp as it cools. But if you have all these interlinking segments, then as it cools, it's not gonna warp. It's not gonna be able to warp nearly as much. So you can print this stuff on a lower chamber temperature. You can print this stuff at lower temperatures. Uh, but it really eliminates that warping and curling that makes Peak so difficult to print. And the parts are gorgeous and the accuracy is. Peak isn't always the prettiest thing to print. Oh, this, the stringing, the oozing. Whereas this is absolutely flawless um, in the way that it prints it. There's nothing is oozing, stringing, bulging out. It's extremely accurate. It looks like exactly what you put in your slicer. Right. And dimensional accuracy, that's another huge thing. You've got a coefficients of thermal expansion, all this stuff, and the parts can shift and change. And if you anneal the parts, it's gonna shift and warp even more. So the carbon fiber in there sort of acts like a locking me mechanism. Mm -hmm. it, it just sets it, it can't move. It's almost like having a skeleton within the part. There you go, that's a perfect way to put right. it. Right, yeah. right, it's like a skeleton. Uh, it's these hard, rigid, you know, straight sections throughout the entire part that just keep it within a structure. So if you're printing parts that need to be very, very accurate and you can use the carbon fiber, it's going to be way easier to do. Now, carbon fiber it will also chew up your nozzles, so you have to replace your nozzles more often. But Peak itself, being a semi-crystalline polymer, is also going to chew up, chew up your nozzles. So uh, it's not that much of a difference if you're gonna replace nozzles. Your you likelihood of, for failure overall is gonna be probably oh. lower, especially if you're printing with support. Way less. And things like that. The yield rates are way higher with carbon fiber peaks. And they're just, just so damn pretty. It looks nice, it looks nice. I mean, it smooth. almost looks layerless on um, some of them. Now, some of you have probably seen Nylon X and uh, some of those other brands, and they use industrial grade carbon fiber. So you kind of get a texture on the outside. Carbon fiber peak from 3DX Tech, they use aerospace grade carbon fiber, which is finer strands that are stiffer by weight and volume. So you're actually getting uh, more for less. Mm -hmm. uh, it is more expensive, uh, but you're talking, you're talking less jams in the nozzle because you're using finer fibers. Um, and the texture is very smooth. It all, it's almost like a matte black. Uh, you can't feel anything. It still comes out like perfectly flat. 
The bottom line is if yeah. you can use it, if you have a choice to use carbon fiber over standard peak, always take the carbon fiber always. one. And use, we always push people to do that because it makes their life easier, makes their parts look better. But if you can't, you know, if given the choice, always take carbon fiber. Yeah. Uh, peak does have like vanilla, regular, unfilled peak does have more certifications and more use cases uh, where people have been using it for 30 plus years. And so it's just it's just more vetted. The, the carbon fiber exactly. stuff, it just hasn't been tested, uh, especially in 3D printing. It's so new that there's not all the years of experience with it and testing and certifications. This know. is where you see carbon yeah. fiber making a massive difference. In the low temp stuff, the PLAs and stuff, it's kind of a gimmick. Things, this material behave, it becomes a new beast completely. We see better layer adhesion uh, a lot of the time. They kind of fixed peak. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like the carbon fiber fixes peak uh, for 3D printing. That's that's funny. Is generally about the same price. Uh, so you get a little bit less peak and more carbon in there for about the same price. It's kind of a wash. Right? More accuracy, less difficulty removing. Well, first of all, it almost hides the layers. Yeah, it really does. You can print 0.25 layer height. Mm -hmm. and you won't even see the layers. Yep, it's in fact, they recommend it and it's easier and faster. And uh, Peak is really, really good. One of the biggest uses for gears and gearboxes. It's got a better wear resistance than titanium. So you see a lot of parts like these. Um, and you know, these are very printable uh, and everything. Now, if you might not want to use carbon fiber peak for this because you'll get less of the self-lubricating properties The stuff of is peak. so tough, it'll eat itself it, up. Yeah, it'll eat itself up much, much more. You can do Same bases. thing that happens to your nozzles is gonna happen to your parts. See, look at this. I don't want to break this, but- Go you, ahead. You can hear the layers. No, no, it's too beautiful. You can don't hear the layers down. crackling. And that that wouldn't happen in CFP. That would not happen in CFP. And show them at yeah. the end of the video because this yeah. would come out fine the first time. Yeah. And this has a ton of problems. We did manage to tune that one in a lot better, uh, but we sent that out. Sometimes you'll see peak as a requirement for government contracts or medical companies, or maybe you have to use regular peak for an implant or medical device of some kind. But in general, if you can, carbon fiber peak is way easier to print, has better layer adhesion, it's stronger, it's more rigid, it, it's got a higher strength to weight ratio, and it's just freaking awesome. So, if you got questions, give us a call, shoot us an email. We've been doing this stuff for years now, and we'd love helping you guys out with your projects, getting into open material systems, into high temp, functional 3D printing. And we love it when you guys call, we get to talk to you and hear everything. So ask us questions, write questions yeah. down there, and we'll get back to you. I love that doing that stuff. So yeah, definitely. You got a question? Pick our brain. Comments below. Subscribe, hit that notification bell wherever you are on the internet. Do you see? This almost looks like it's polished glass. It's it does. Uh, pristine. Yeah, Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.